Hello, welcome to this virtual interest session for the National ACDA Convention. The title is Enrich and Expand Your Repertoire with Beautiful Music from Taiwan. I've been conducting choirs for around three decades now, and every season I'm looking for new and fresh, unusual music to add to my repertoire. You probably are too. In 2016, I had a chance to take a study teaching sabbatical in the beautiful country of Taiwan. While I was there, I discovered that the choral singing in churches, schools, and public venues is vibrant, and I also discovered a wealth of choral pieces. When I started hearing Taiwanese choral music performed with excellence, I was immediately attracted to it. It was fresh, um, unusual, so expressive, and I wanted to bring this music back for my choirs. And I also started to think that American conductors and American choirs would fall in love with this music as well if they had a chance to see it and hear it. In today's session, I will introduce and then let you hear all or portions of 11 Taiwanese pieces. These are all available to American conductors and I will provide a source list for you at the end of the session. Before we look at actual scores, I want to frame with a couple of points. First, any new language, it can at first seem daunting. In fact, if a score only has Chinese symbols and like me, you don't read Chinese symbols, you might be deterred. Rest assured, all of these scores have romanization and IPA plus transliteration and poetic translation so you both know what you're singing and how to pronounce it. Second, as with any new language or style, it's not enough just to look at the two-dimensional score. You really need to hear the work performed by an excellent choir um, so that you can hear the work in full color in multiple dimensions. In support of this, today we have as our demonstration choir the Formosa Singers, an outstanding Taiwanese choir directed by Julian Su. They are one of the headline uh, invited choirs to this convention. We'll be presenting a concert in another time slot. Don't miss it. The Formosa Singers have commissioned, published, and performed over 200 Taiwanese choral works and have produced 24 choral albums. To show you these works can also be performed by ordinary college ensembles. One of these pieces will be performed by my college choir. Uh, that will come a little later. Much of this music employs pentatonic melody, non-Western rhythmic groupings, parallel fifths and fourths, and other non-Western harmonic ideas. The song list today includes a wide variety of styles, moods, as well as languages. Two are in Aboriginal languages, four in Hakka, five are in Taiwanese. You will see that no two pieces are alike. Each has its own flavor and mood. And so importantly, you cannot sing these to a strict metronome. They must move and breathe with melodic, harmonic, and textual shape. These performances today will demonstrate this well. The first song today is Delubling. It is an Aboriginal song of the Rukai tribe. It is kind of like Little Mermaid, except that the princess is leaving her earthly tribe to live forever with the prince under the water. The first verse is the daughter expressing her regrets at saying goodbye forever, sung first by solo, then by treble. The second verse is the parent's response, especially begging her to never forget her roots and traditions.
As you can see, that is a beautiful piece with deep meaning, and it is clearly aboriginal. As with the Lubaling, many of these Taiwanese pieces use melodies without leading tones and non-Western harmony. These scores also provide helps such as the slideshows, transliteration, IPA, romanization, and poetic translation, all super helpful tools for the expressive choir. Our next piece is Silver Grass. It's an original Taiwanese pop song and was winner of the 2019 Taiwan Music Composition Songwriting Contest. The composer wanted to connect with her grandmother and did so by using first her grandmother's language, Hakka, and also by making reference to memories of her late husband and son via images of a drongo bird in flight. This arrangement is by Formosa's primary arranger and also pianist Yushan Tsai, who accompanies this performance. A few special features that you will hear, a very tender and expressive melody, frequent use of parallel fifths and fourths, frequent use of gentle grace notes and slides for expressiveness, and an accompaniment that really complements the choral parts. Haka Love Song would be a great first Taiwanese piece for any choir. It has a limited amount of text and one of the verses is repeated. The music has a youthful character and it is distinctly non-Western in flavor. The text is about a young woman 
who lives in a most beautiful area of mountains, trees, and flowers. But she doesn't notice any of this because she's in love. The only thing she can see or think about is her lover. Fa Shu Ha is probably one of the most well-known Taiwanese songs in the U.S. It is published by Earth Songs under the Antone Armstrong Choral Series. The text is a lament on how progress in society sometimes destroys beloved traditions that are centuries old. The opening harmonic foundation features two seventh chords sung by the choir similar to guitar strumming, on top of which is this haunting pentatonic melody and powerful text. The melody is first presented by solo and then repeated by sopranos.
Our next song, Rain from the Sky, is a work song traditionally sung by Hakka tea growers. You can feel the rhythmic energy and the lighthearted lyrics. As a simple folk song, it only has a few words, and these are repeated, though on the repeat, the music is, as you'd expect from a work song, much busier. To be in harmony with you is an exquisite gem that combines a surface simplicity with emotional depth. On the surface, the text portrays uncertainty with unrequited love. On a deeper level, it portrays uncertainty of political freedom. The work opens and closes with arpeggiated ninth chords, creating an atmosphere of unresolved feeling. The pentatonic melody then moves forward without any rhythmic push, just pauses in its uncertainty. You will also hear several harmonic surprises. After all, the journey of love is so often unpredictable.
we introduce this next piece, I want to read an English translation for you. When the day stills, nostalgia rises to call forth memories of you. The wind howls outside the window and the stars gleam and glint in the dark. When the day stills, I wake in the dark of night thinking of you. When the day stills, I cannot sleep even in the darkness because I am thinking of you. I think about the trail where we walked hand in hand together, where the fireflies led us by their light to the field, to the bamboo forest, the thick fog, the hillside, and the stream that whispered gently to us. When the day stills, I think of you. You can see this is an intimate poem about a widely shared experience. A lonely heart is fine while life is busy, but when busyness slows down at the end of the day, the heart's longings rise and affect the whole being. This setting so perfectly portrays the text, including much varied emotions of gentle longing to frustration and not sleeping to precious memories of intimate times. For this performance, I had my college choir learn and perform this for today's session. My singers love this piece, so will yours.
The Apple of Daddy's Eye is one of my all-time favorite Taiwanese choral pieces, probably for two main reasons. First, the music is so expressive and has great architecture. It begins with a simple accompanied statement of the melody, then is more fully scored, then a lovely alto saxophone interlude, and then a fuller choral passage with saxophone obligato above the choir. Musically, this is very satisfying to sing and hear. But the bigger reason is the text itself. It speaks of big themes, political freedom, honor, integrity, and love of a parent. The song is based on a true story of a politically persecuted university professor and author who is about to leave his family and escape from his homeland to save his life. His words describe how much he will miss his child, that he will hold him in memory forever, and also includes advice to his child to become a wise person with strength of character. This professor escaped in 1964 and was finally allowed to return to Taiwan in 1992.
Right from the first measure, Midnight Under the Street Lamp expresses frustration and loneliness. In the unusual key of E-flat minor, yes, six flats, the alto saxophone opens with a descending octave scale, including the exotic augmented second. The text actually represents the composer's personal experience of waiting many late nights for his beloved to finish work, sitting in the fog alone, with night sounds drifting in, feeling like nobody knows and nobody cares. The overall architecture builds from the opening through the four verses. This grabs and keeps the audience interested in the music, plus the story. Salme Lang Gagang, or The Grasshopper and the Rooster, is a well-known humorous folk song from southern Taiwan. Here an eloquent young lady responds wisely and somewhat sarcastically to a flirty old man. 
The flirtatious and saucy banter is portrayed right from the beginning with the alternating irregular meter, scoops, slides, and the biting clash of minor seconds. In the opening verses, tenor bass sing the words of the old man, soprano alto sing the words of the young woman. In the middle section, soloists take over their roles with a much slower tempo, allowing for maximum bantering effect, finally ending with a young woman putting him in his place. If you want to marry me, you had better start planning for your next life. Lai Su is another of my favorite choral works. It is an ancient song of the Paiwan tribe of southern Taiwan, presumably passed down orally for many generations. The lyrics are simply nonsense syllables, but the traditional meaning of this piece is of yearning for oneness in community. My yearning for you is like a vine wrapped tightly around a big tree. The music is mesmerizing, with the alto and bass parts providing a harmonic drone foundation, and with soprano and tenor alternating melodic imitation. You can feel the communal dialogue in action, alternation, respect, variety of statement, always responding to the other voices, the ultimate in community. The text itself is very simple. This piece does demand excellent vocal technique in breath support and intonation. The melodic portions depend on perfect intonation of the drone parts, and the drone parts demand perfect intonation and expressivity in the melodic parts. 
We have just time for a couple minutes to sample this wonderful piece. You can see how much variety, beauty, and power are represented in these pieces. Most of these have non-Western tendencies, pentatonic melodies, drone, parallel motion harmonies. You should also have noticed the unusual rhythmic feel that is closely tied to the language. For the most part, this music cannot be sung to a metronome. Every phrase inflects according to the language, which is part of its unusual and intrinsic beauty. True art is like this, not formulaic, not tied to a two-dimensional score. As a non-Taiwanese, how do you get inside the music? Accurate pronunciation is an important step, but listening to performances by outstanding choirs is also really important. Accurate pitch and rhythm is just a start. Real beauty lies in feeling and expressing the nuances of the text. My college choirs have now performed many of these pieces, and my singers and our audiences have loved them. If you wish to expand your repertoire and try new sounds, texts, and ideas, I hope you will choose one or two of these works and program them for your next concert. You will not be disappointed, and your singers will thank you.